Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to explain restore command in delta table. In traditional databases or data warehouses, when we are performing series of DML operations and later we realized there is a mistake or you know something went wrong with the DML operation, then we can go back to the previous state using rollback command. And in uh, some other uh, databases or data warehouses, even we have concepts called flashback or snapshot. Restore is one of uh, such command. Using restore, we can go back to previous version of the delta table. We can make the delta table permanently to previous version or previous timestamp. That is called restore command. In our previous video, I have talked about time travel. This particular concept looks similar to time travel, but there is a difference. In time travel, you know, we can uh, go back and forth across multiple versions of the table as one time activity. But coming to restore, when we are applying restore command to delta table to certain previous version, it will make the, it will make the table permanent to that previous version. So that is the different. In time travel, on ad hoc basis, you know, we are going back and forth. But coming to restore, it will restore the table permanently to previous version or to previous timestamp. This is the difference between time travel and restore. I hope you understood the concept of restore command. Let's get started with the demo. As always, I have logged into my Databricks environment and cluster is up and running. The first step is I'm going to create delta table. So I'm going to use the same delta table which I have uh, created as part of uh, slowly changing dimension to demo. So that is a uh, delta table. So here I have given the syntax to create the delta, delta table using SQL or PySpark. And I have already created, so I am not going to execute this one. So let me explore the table using select query. Let me execute. Here we can see there are five records. And I have already performed many operations on this table. So there are multiple versions available for this table. So I want to see the versions of this table. So for that, first we have to create delta table instance in PySpark uh, code. Or in SQL, we don't need to create instance. Directly we can uh, use describe history command. But in this uh, demo, I'm going to use uh, PySpark command. So I'm going to create a delta table instance. In order to create delta table instance, we can use either path or table name. In this uh, method, I'm using path. And the delta table instance would be called target table. Let me execute. So it's done. Now, based on the delta table instance, I can display all the versions of the delta table. So the command is target table dot history. This is the instance we have created. And the history, this is the standard syntax. And I'm displaying. Let me execute. Here we can see there are nine versions totally starting from zero till eight. And I have performed many operations starting from creating the table, then inserting the data that is called a write operation, then a few delete and update operations. So basically I have so many versions of this uh, delta table. So now I'm going to show you how to restore to previous version. So in order to restore to previous version, either we can use version or timestamp, we can use anything. So I am going to show both the methods. Let's say I have to restore to previous version of six. So we have uh, performed certain delete and update operation. So that is not uh, uh, expected. As a result, I have to go back to previous version that is six. So I want to make my table permanently to previous version six. So for that, we need to use the command. We have to give the a delta table instance that is called a target table then this is the standard syntax restore to version then within that we have to give the version number here in this case i want to go back to version number six that's the reason i am giving six so let me execute execution is successful now let me explore the table once again earlier we had we got five records let me uh, explore the table after restoring to version number six. Here you can see, you know, there are 
six records because you know we deleted uh, some records using delete operation now you know we have restored so there is no update no delete so it is uh, it has restored permanently to previous version 6 and in the next method i am going to show you how to restore using timestamp so basically we are having history in the history we are having version number and also timestamp we have seen uh, uh, the approach using version number now for using timestamp you know we have to use uh, timestamp value for example, I want to restore uh, back to this particular time, timestamp. So then what I can do is, I can copy the timestamp. I can put it into my uh, command. So the syntax is target table. This is a delta table instance. Then this is a standard syntax, restore to timestamp. Then I will need to give the timestamp to what time you know we have to restore. So let me execute this step. Execution is successful. Now we have restored to fourth version or on this particular timestamp. Let me query the table. Here we can see only there are four rows. So earlier when uh, we restored to sixth version, it was uh, giving six records. Now it is giving four records. It means it has restored permanently, permanently to fourth version. So and also we have performed uh, two, two restore operations. So now let us see the history, the version of uh, the table. Let me execute. Here we can see when we started today, you know, it was having only eight version. Now if you see there is a version number nine and 10. So even when we are performing a restore operation, it would be recorded as a separate version. See here, we have performed restore one using version number, another using timestamp. So even that is also recorded as a new version in Delta table. I hope you understood what is restore command and uh, how to use it in PySpark development. Hope you understood and enjoyed this video. If you like the content of this video, please like, comment and also subscribe this channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button. Thank you.